What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Ascending Tide DLC in Update 33 for the Elder Scrolls Online. If you're on PC or Stadia, this comes out today, March the 14th. If you play on console like I do, I will have to wait until March the 29th for the update to release. In this video, I kind of want to talk about a lot of the cool changes that are coming with Update 33 because it's one of the biggest changes to character customization, the way you can build your characters. In the, Elder, in the Elder Scrolls Online that we've ever really had. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, we're going to have a dynamic stat scaling with this update. So all offensive and heals will scale with your highest offensive stat. And kind of going hand in hand with that, you're going to have some changes to buffs as well. Some of the buffs in the game will actually give you major savagery and prophecy or other buffs for both stam and magic. So pretty much what this means is there's going to be tons of ways to build your characters now for character customization. This is going to make uh, kind of uh, a path for a lot of hybrid builds. If you're a fan of hybrid builds right now, you're going to be a huge fan of them with these changes. A lot of people are wondering, will hybrid builds become the meta in the game? After the you know this update's released today on PC and a couple weeks here on console, people will actually get to go in and theory craft and test a lot of stuff. I think it's going to make for some really unique things in game for solo builds, group builds, whatever the case may be. So dynamic stat scaling and of course changes to these buffs to allow you to be able to run you know magic and stam abilities together is something really neat and i think something that a lot of players are really going to look forward to kind of testing out and, and messing around with some other cool things that are coming with this update are things that are going to be added to the crown store the multi-rider mounts or the two-player mounts that were talked about years ago kind of put on the back burner delayed are finally coming out with update 33 now i'm not sure if they're going to be in the store on day one for any of the platforms but keep an eye out for those multi-player uh, mounts that way if you want to have a friend guild member whatever the case may be and they're in a group with you and y'all want to ride on one mount together you will be able to also something else that's coming to the store that i think a lot of people are going to be interested in is the deconstruction assistant i made a video about this a while back i'll pop it up in the top corner right now if you want to hear about some more details kind of about exactly what all this uh kind of entails but in general this is going to be a character where you can decon everything is kind of on the fly out in the open world you won't have to travel back to a deconstruction or deconstruct your stuff at a actual crafting table when it comes to some other changes, of course, the account-wide achievements are being added in with Update 33, and this has been kind of a mixed bag of feelings in the community. Some people like the idea, some don't, but most of your achievements and titles will be unlocked on all of your characters if you, as long as you have them done on one character. Not everything, but most things. And of course, like I said, a lot of people in the community don't like this, and it's going to make a change to something else that's already available in game as well, and that is the Undaunted skill line. The unknowned skill line in the past, of course, you know, you uh, you unlocked it and ranked it up by doing you know, your pledges and things of that nature. But, of course, you know, this, a lot of that stuff unlocked with achievements or tied into the achievements. Well, now they didn't want that to really be the case, considering all your achievements are going to be unlocked, uh, you know, account wide. So they decided to make some changes to that undaunted skill line. Now you'll have to level it up once again still by doing pledges. Of course, vet hard mode and hard mode gives the most progress. There will actually be an increase in the amount of XP it takes to level up the undaunted skill line. So it's going to be a bit of a change. Uh, not a huge change, but it may take a bit longer, it seems, by the way they worded it in the patch notes. Uh, kind of how this exactly is going to work. Also, they talked about some changes for the classes in general. First of all, when it comes to the Necro, there's no real changes to the Necro, just some bug fixes. When it comes to the Warden, the Fungal Growth uh, ability now will heal for more. Lotus Flower will actually have a cost reduction and give you major prophecy and savagery. And the Morph actually is going to get an increase in time to 60 seconds. When it comes to the Templar, we have Piercing Javelin, which is going to ignore Block. Biting Jabs is going to grant Major Sorcery and Brutality, and Sunfire is going to grant Major Prophecy and Savagery. When it comes to the Night Blade, not a lot of changes, but Strife is actually going to get a small damage increase. When it comes to the Sork, we're going to get Hurricane and Boundless Storm buff by just adding extra time to the duration. And last but not least, the DK, we're going to get Burning Embers is going to actually give you a huge heal over time effect, so you can use that on a mag character or a stam character and actually get a lot of healing from it so with all these changes between the classes and the you know kind of hybrid options we have now i'm really going to be interested to see what kind of what people do with their builds in game but leave me a comment let me know what you think about update 33 are you looking forward to most everything within this update 
Are you happy with the account-wide achievements? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.